Hey everyone, Jamie here from technicalcafe.com. Welcome to your 22nd HTML tutorial. In the last tutorial, we talked about creating frames in HTML and how we can use them to display multiple web pages um, within the same browser window. Okay, so in this tutorial, we're going to be talking about something uh, a little bit on the similar side, but yet a little bit on the different side as well, uh, and that's iframes. So what iframes allow you to do in HTML is to display multiple web pages within the same window. However, iframes are actually embedded within another website. So uh, instead of displaying just multiple web pages side by side like you can do in frames, um, iframes allow you to display them with uh, an, a web page within a web page like we see uh, in this web page here. So uh, here's the example web page that I set up here. We have uh, two iframes actually. One is set to have a source of w3schools.com uh, and it's actually going to the HTML iframes page uh, which I'll link up in the description below. And um, this is just an iframe, uh, it's the default size, so it's a little small, so sorry about that. And it's actually linking to this page right here. Um, anyway, this is another iframe down here that we have, and this is actually empty, it has no source. Um, but what we did do is uh, I actually set the target of this Technical Cafe link to open in this um, iframe here. So the Technical Cafe uh, blog opens up down here. So what we're going to do is we're going to learn how to create the code that actually causes these two iframes to appear here. Um, so let's get into it. Okay, so here's the code that we have for our uh, iframes. Uh, it's just a regular uh, school over here. We have some HTML regular code here that we have up at the top, head, title. Um, and unlike in the previous tutorial we had, uh, we couldn't use the body tag with the frame set tag, otherwise it wouldn't display properly. Um, with iframes, you're actually allowed to use the body code, uh, body tag. And uh, that's basically because the iframe is actually embedded within the body of another web page. So. Uh, these two iframes are embedded within this web page here, so uh, we could actually move these over and whatnot, and maybe even put them in a div and style it whatever way we want to. But um, well, so we are allowed to use the body tag. That's just uh, maybe one of the key differences you could say uh, between frames and iframes. Anyway, so uh, let's come down here. We have each one just uh, where we have the text over here displaying our iframes, just so we know what it's about. And uh, here's actually the code for our first iframe. So this code right here represents this. Um, so it's just uh, iframes are composed of two tags, like a table or a, or a, maybe a frame set or a form, and it has an opening iframe tag and a closing iframe tag. Um, and actually, we have nothing between the two tags. These are empty right here, um, so we don't need to worry about putting anything there. And uh, the second iframe that we have is just an empty iframe. There's no source like we have in the first iframe up here. Uh, second iframe has no source down here, um, but we do have a name attribute, unlike up here, and we'll get into that uh, a little bit later. So. Now let's just delete this and let's get into coding our iframes. Uh, we'll save that out, come over here and refresh, and uh, our canvas here is empty. Uh, just one thing I want to note, um, that uh, if you watch the previous tutorial on regular frames, um, you'll notice that sometimes we have to come over here and rerun the code uh, to launch it again in Firefox, and that's also true for iframes, I'm not sure why, um, but sometimes if we created a new iframe uh, and left it empty, the previous, uh, whatever was in it previously would show up, I'm not sure why that is. Um, but you might see that a little bit in this tutorial. So now let's go about creating our web page. We'll create a basic uh, HTML here. Basic shell, I guess you could say. And we'll create our head. Create a title. And within this title, we're just going to call it uh, HTML iframes. We'll save it out, come over and refresh. And here we go. And we'll create our body. slash body. Okay, so basically within this bot, within the body tags is where we're going to create our iframe, uh, unlike with the fr other frames that we learned about previously. Uh, if you haven't watched that tutorial, you might want to check it out, uh, just so you know the difference. Um, so the tags, actually first before we create our iframe, let's just create an h1, uh, just so we can have some text on our page here, and we'll say HTML iframes. HTML iframes. Okay, so we'll save that, come over here and refresh. And here's our HTML iframes text. Um, so underneath this, we'll create our first iframe, and that's going to be the iframe that we're going to be displaying the W3Schools link in. So uh, let's just, in order to create it, we need a set of tags, an opening and a closing tag, uh, and we're just going to be using the iframe tag. It's iframe, iframe. So now that we've actually created our iframe tag, we should be able to see the empty iframe uh, within the uh, HTML page here. So let's just save that and we'll come over here and refresh. And you'll notice that, like I said earlier, uh, even though it's empty, there's no code within here, um, 
and still taking on whatever was in it before. And we have the W3 Schools uh, website up in here before. So let's just uh, take a look at the page course. And even though it is empty, it's still displaying that. So let's just come over here. We click on Run in Notepad++. If you're not using Notepad++, you can just uh, open up the web page or uh, visit the URL or something like that with, from your browser. So we'll launch it again in Firefox. Okay. And just delete the old one. So now that our iframe is empty, you can see our page source, the iframe is empty. Um, so we have an empty iframe. There's nothing in here. Um, so let's put something in it. And in order to put something in it, like with an image, for example, uh, we just say SRC equals and then some quotation marks. And whatever is in the source uh, between the quotation marks is going to be uh, what's going to open up in the iframe here. So uh, for this one, uh, just like in the previous frame, and uh, also links, we can actually include uh, web pages that are not online, I guess you could say, web pages within directories that are on our computer or on our server. Um, so if you watch the div tutorial that we did previously, uh, let's just load up that in an iframe. So we'll say dot slash divs dot html. Uh, and that's just going to, this means the same directory. We can actually just do divs dot html, save it, come over and refresh. Or better yet, we can just run it and launch it again. You'll notice that our div uh, web page that we did for the tutorial is actually up in here uh, in our iframe. So instead, what we're going to do is we're going to copy and paste the HTML iframes page, and we're going to throw that in there just uh, to keep it uh, with the um, with our sample page that we had at the beginning. So uh, you can do both pages that are on the server and URLs. Um, so we're just going to include this URL here. So we'll save, run, and relaunch. And uh, here's our W3 schools. And I just like it at the left here to keep things organized. OK, so let's go back to our code here. And we're going to create a second iframe. Um, but first, we're going to put some line breaks in. And then we're going to put a paragraph uh, where we're going to say, uh, let's open, or we'll say, link to an iframe. So we'll save that, come over here, and we'll refresh. And uh, we're going to put an iframe down here. Uh, actually, let's change that to open a link, hyperlink in an iframe. Not hyperline, hyperlink. OK, that's, that's a little bit better. It's uh, more descriptive to what we're doing. So uh, let's just create a new iframe under this. Uh, we'll say iframe, iframe. And we're going to save that, come over here and refresh. And here's our empty iframe. So uh, what, we're going to, what we're going to do is we want to create a link, and we'll just put the link under this iframe here. And we want that link to have a target of this iframe. So when we click on the link, instead of opening in a new tab or a new browser window, it'll just open up within this iframe here. So uh, what we can do for that is we'll just uh, we'll give this iframe a name. In the name of this iframe, it's going to be uh, whatever you want it to be. You can set it to whatever you want. So this name um, is going to be, we'll say, uh, we'll just call this iframe uh, 2. It says we're going to open it in the second iframe that we have on our page here. So uh, we'll call this iframe 2, and we'll create a link. So a href equals, and slash a. And within our link here, uh, we're just going to say technicalcafe.com to keep with the tutorial, and maybe uh, show off the site a little bit. And we'll say technicalcafe.com. So we'll save and refresh. And uh, let's just get that down a little bit. OK, so now we bumped it down uh, to the next line here. So when we click on Technical Cafe, it should load. OK, yeah, so it should, it, will, it should load right up here in this page, and uh, it does. So instead of that, what we don't, we don't want is we, want it to, we don't want it to open up in a new page or new tab. We want it to load in the iframe. So how we're going to do that is that we're going to actually give the iframe a name, which we did. And then we're going to call, basically tell the uh, link to have a target of this name. So uh, we'll say target equals, and then we're going to give it some quotation marks. And uh, if you remember from the links tutorial, um, we can have a target to open, like for example, target underscore blank will cause it to open up in a new tab, and no target will cause it to open up in a new window. So uh, if we have a target of the name of the iframe, uh, iframe2, it'll open up in this iframe's name. And the iframe uh, obviously supports the name attribute. So if we save this, and we take a look at our link, a href equals uh, technicalcafe.com, target equals iframe2, or whatever you called your iframe. Um, 
and then we have the name of the link obviously so let's refresh and we come over here and we click on the link it should open up within this iframe and it does uh, so we can go around and check on that and uh, see that within our iframe so now that we have our two iframes up and running and working properly uh, let's learn some attributes of the iframes um, if you'll notice right here that these iframes actually have borders uh, right along the edges here and there's actually a way we can turn that off um, or disable the border and within that setting uh, it's just another attribute so we'll just put it within our beginning or opening iframe tag and the attribute that we're going to be using to get rid of the border is frame border equals and then some quotation marks and you just set it to zero and when you set it to zero it'll actually remove the border right from the uh, iframe so here you can see that we do have a border and here you can see we don't um, so that's just a little something if you're using iframes and you don't want a border or maybe uh, you want to set like a custom border using CSS or, or something include it in a div uh, whatever you want to do so uh, we'll just take that off for right now and we'll get rid of that and actually I'm just gonna put a little closing tag here that we don't need it um, actually oh, that's not we can't have that there I was thinking more of the toward the frames where we had a uh, the frame is one tag so we'll just save that out and refresh and there we go so everything's working um, so now what we're going to do is we're going to actually change the height and width of the iframes because now they are a little small you can't really see much um, so what we're going to do there is we're just going to use the height and width attributes similar to how we might have in an image um, so we'll say height equals and we'll call it uh, I'll say 500 pixels and you can also use percentages with this as well so width equals and we'll say 500 pixels. So if we come over here and save, you'll notice that our iframe is bigger and it allows more uh, room to see everything within our web page here. Um, so basically you can make it whatever size you want. If you want it to scroll across the side here, we can set the height maybe to 300 pixels and the width to 800 pixels. Come over here and refresh. And we have a, an iframe that you can see more vertically, uh, horizontally rather than you can vertically in our default size iframe. So Feel free to play around with those settings, um, and also feel free to check out the uh, iframe page that we have linked up in here. Um, I'll add it in the description, and this is where you can find a lot more information about the iframes, um, and uh, a little bit more information about HTML as well, if you're interested. So I'll link this up in the description. Um, so if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please feel free to uh, leave them below. And if you have any uh, tutorial ideas or anything you want to see, uh, please feel free to also leave me a comment in the comment section below. Or you can also use the contact section of the Technical Cafe blog, um, where you can be able to, to just be able to send me an email. Or you can contact me on or follow me on Twitter at twittercom jamiemcg if you're interested in to what in what I'm up to. Or you can follow Technical Cafe at twittercom technicalcafe Thank you for watching and have a great day.